Hey everybody, this is Marnock. Uh, we are out here at the Minister Creek Trail in the Allegheny National Forest in Pennsylvania. First back trip for me and my kids, and it's pitch black and we're setting up camp. Love setting up in the dark. It was a cold night last night, but uh, the new top quilt that I made out of a five ounce climate shield layered with my uh, snug pack top quilt, I stay plenty warm, but good morning from Minister Creek. This is Minister Creek and we're getting to see it for the first time uh, this morning in the light. And it's, uh, it's quite beautiful. It's a nice sound to wake up to. So we're packing up camp here and we're all moving a little slow because it's cold, but we have a public service announcement brought to you by Chris. So Chris, what can you tell us about tying off to a tree in the dark? Make sure the tree's alive. <laughs> <laughs> See what had happened was, uh, we all were getting into our hammocks and Chris was still setting up and we heard crash, boom, bang, tree fell in the woods. Um, yeah, the tree he picked, and I can show you over here, was not well very, lit. very dead. Um, and if it was light outside, you would be able to see that. So if it's dark outside, you really want to make sure you check the tree, make sure it doesn't move. Try to push it over before you tie off to it. Um, we're just lucky that it fell in a direction away from everybody, including the person that knocked it over. Yep. Uh, we're going to have to report him to the Forestry Service for uh, logging without a permit. <laughs> but other than that, everybody's doing well. All right, we're gonna hit the trail soon after we get breakfast here. Um, and keep you posted. So we're on the Minister Creek Trail and had breakfast a little bit ago. Cleaned up from that and you remember my friend Chris. I, I, I introduced you to him just a little bit ago here when we were uh, getting up in the morning. He just learned the hard way. You don't add alcohol fuel to a stove that is still on fire. So another what not to do. <laughs> and I learned from his mistakes. So I found this uh, cool little cave at Minister Creek Trail and then we just saw some hunters and they told us it's the uh, first day of bear season. So we're gonna keep moving. Views like this make all the climbing and hiking worth it. Look at that. We made it to the top of the overlook. Hi. Welcome to the yeah. It's a very long way down. Um, everybody made it up. We didn't lose anybody this time. Maybe, well, we almost left Dakota, but that uh, was more personal preference than him not making it. So, we're at the top of the overlook. That was probably the hardest part of the climb. We came from a really far way down. And we're getting ready to keep going. So we just found out we weren't really at the overlook. We were at a different overlook that's not really marked. And we we found the real one. So, uh, we're looking at the overlook and we're going to keep going here. But uh trail's been pretty nice so far. Some some kind of difficult rocks to climb, especially for first time backpackers, but it's been fun. So we're on the trail here and it is absolutely beautiful out here. It's so quiet. I can see why backpacking is very popular. Um, you get away from all the noise. I mean, unless you bring the noise with you, we have six scouts with us and two of them are my own kids so I'm kind of hanging back from the group about 20 yards letting them go ahead just enjoying the quiet enjoying nature enjoying these beautiful rock formations haven't seen a lot of wildlife yet that's okay though it's bear season and all it's a nice trail so far definitely moderate not easy got some rocks to climb which have been nice a little bit of a challenge I think everybody's having a good time so far though. I know I am. And I'm taping.
So we just uh, finished the part of the trail that I think technically you have to be part billy goat to get through safely. Um, it wasn't too bad. I wiped out once. Everybody else seemed to stay on their feet. Uh, I've just learned that when you have a lot of weight on your back and you lean to one side and it's muddy, you can't keep traction. So maybe I'm going to invest in some trekking poles to help me steady myself. Uh, other than that, though, it's been a good hike so far. Beautiful weather. Sun's out. Not too many clouds in the sky. Not too hot. Uh, nice and cool. Really enjoying this trip so far. I'm thinking this is going to be the first of a lot of backpacking trips for me. What's it say? Two pair, two pack. There's, no, there's two and there's two. So I just finished cooking lunch. Had a uh, nor rice side uh, creamy chicken with some uh, chicken, like those side chicken creations, uh, pouch of chicken with it, and finishing off with coffee. Get back on the trail soon. All right, so a little bit of a recap from the Minister Creek Trail. Obviously, I'm home now and spending a little time with my dude. This is Rango. Hopefully, uh, he'll become my trail buddy here in a, a year or so. He'll be able to hike these trails with me. So, we had originally planned on finding a campsite along the trail for last night. Um, and we decided against that because there were some of the scouts that didn't have the gear that they really needed. And it's really important that you come prepared for the outing that you do. I had two scouts that were first time hammock campers, and that's great, and I encourage hammock camping, but as cold as it was, they didn't have the proper insulation to keep warm, so Friday night they were pretty chilly, and uh, so we, they didn't want to spend another cold night out, and I didn't want them to have a miserable time on the trip. And then I had two of my senior scouts that were using a tent for the first time, and they, one of them was at the meeting and they tried putting it together and it was all good, but when they packed it all up, somehow the rain fly on the tent didn't get put back in the bag. So Friday night we used uh, somebody's ground tarp and put it over top just in case, and with the rain that was coming in Saturday night we decided it was a better option to just head back to the vehicles and, um, and just kind of go home everybody was having a good time we wanted to keep it that way so they'd want to do it again so uh, the moral of the story make sure you um, you prepare for the trip that you're you're going on I know I was super warm Friday night it was about 28 29 degrees I was using my snug pack under quilt and top quilt um, on top of that or actually underneath the under quilt I had the under quilt that I built which is at a 1.1 Rip stop, and then I use a five ounce Clima Shield uh, as the fill for it, and then I made a top quilt to match it. And the top quilt I made is ended up being eight feet long, which is probably too much top quilt, but it was really nice because I could pull the whole thing just over my head, <clears throat> and it insulated around my face, but it wasn't suffocating me to where uh, you know I felt like I had pressure on my face and. I was super warm until I woke up. I, I slept in just like a long sleeve t-shirt, didn't need any kind of hoodie or thermals or anything to keep me warm. But if you don't have the equipment you need, it can be a really cold, miserable night. I'm really proud of all the scouts that came out uh, to this. We had six of them out on the trip. We had three adults, including myself. And I'm really proud of the way they took on the trail. None of us had ever done a backpacking trip before. So for a lot of us, it was going on YouTube and seeing Hey, what what do I pack to cook? How do I make a how do I make a stove or what kind of stove should I use? And it was a lot of discovery. Everybody rose to the task, but we had a good time in the end. Um, the consensus is that everybody on the trip would do it again. Uh, they wanted to do it on a slightly warmer weekend in the fall, maybe a little bit earlier in the fall. Uh, I would say that's a great idea. Or hey, just uh, bring the right gear. So this is Marnock, and uh, until next time. Have fun out there.